This is the Switchblade 600 which is a man-portable, tube-launched kamikaze drone system with a powerful warhead that can attack anti-armor vehicles. But according to the company, this is not a kamikaze drone but classified as an advanced loitering missile. When the Shahid kamikaze drone was made under a budget of $10,000 to $40,000 in spite of the sanctions, the American war machine with a budget of more than $700 billion took notice and awarded Aero Environment Defense Contractor to engineer a kamikaze drone for under $10,000 to $20,000. This might be a worthy replacement for the $78,000 Javelin missile that cost four times more. Again, points to be noted the Shahid or Duran 2 could cover distances of about 1,500 kilometers while the Switchblade 600 has a range of 40 kilometers. But what it lags in range the Switchblade Kamikaze drone or missile makes up with its precision and command and control tracking. Points to be noted this design of the Switchblade 600 drone is similar to the Switchblade 300. For now, let us look at the specification and parts of this drone. The Switchblade 600 is made of three components. The drone, the tube launcher, and the tablet fire and control system. All these have a total combined weight of 54.4 kilograms. The airframe length of the drone is 1.3 meters and has a weight of around 22.7 kilograms. To understand its size, let us compare this to an average human. The Switchblade 600 loitering missile is powered by an electric battery and propeller located at the back of the drone. This small motor could power the drone to a range of 40 kilometers with an endurance of 40 minutes. It is designed to fly out to 40 kilometers in 20 minutes and then loiter for another 20 minutes. It can reach a maximum flying speed of 185 km per hour. Its weapon system is the same as this Javelin missile, which uses the two tandem armor piercing warhead meant to take out tanks with reactive armor. Let us see how this loitering missile works when it hits the target. When the two tandem warhead hits the tank, the first one explodes destroying the reactive armor. This allows the second warhead to do its job. Again, it would not be honest of us if its limitation are not genuinely discussed. Since they use GPS, a military expert says they are vulnerable to jamming like other drums, including Duran 2 or Shahid 136. The other disadvantage might also be the distance it could travel for just 40 kilometers and loiter for only 20 minutes. But the counter reasoning against that, according to the company, that this is not a drone, but a more advanced loitering missile. Now, let us look at a simulated battlefield animations according to the company. The Alpha team would take position as an overwatch for enemy encampment. The second team or Bravo team, which is close to the enemy encampment, will log into the Puma All Environment Unmanned Aircraft System, which provides intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance mission. Data from the Puma is being assessed and processed by both teams. Alpha Team will launch two Switchblade 600 one after the other. After flying to a certain point, the Switchblade 600 visuals and data can be accessed by the teams to ensure there is no collateral damage. This tablet is the FCU Fire and Control Unit of the Alpha Team. It has a tap to target guidance and built-in mission planning. The Switchblade will engage and strike the first target. The second Switchblade will be on its way and hit the second target. Puma Drone will perform bomb damage assessment. If the enemy attempts to flee, Bravo Team will order another Switchblade 600 for launch. In less than 10 minutes, the Bravo team will set up and launch the third loitering missile. During this period, the Puma All Environment Unmanned Aircraft System will track the fleeing enemy continuously until the Switchblade 600 reaches the target. The Bravo team will then transfer the Switchblade 600 to the Alpha team. The third Switchblade missile will reach near the designated target. According to the creators, if the enemy tends to take shelter under a bridge, the operator could wave off the attack as shown in the video. the missile will switch into loitering mode and adjust itself at a suitable angle to strike its target. When the enemy moves out of the shelter, the switchblade will then strike its target with utmost precision.
Until then, do visit our recent content and smash the like and subscribe button to help us produce more military engineering content irrespective of countries and boundaries.